Catalina has invited over just Gordon. We are here cooking fish yakisoba with our childhood crush. Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Not So Very Series. This is the first episode I've recorded since coming back from my little break with my family. We went uh, to Dubrovnik for my mom's birthday and it was really, really nice. Genuinely, Croatia is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. So if you're from Croatia, let me know in the comments. Shout out to you guys. You live somewhere beautiful. Also, I know there were a bunch of comments in the replies to the video. Obviously, I've not been able to like go back and like respond to comments because I had to pre-record some of these videos. So I didn't get to see your comments in between. Did want to have a quick little chat though before we start this episode because I know a lot of you guys were asking me to address some things. I've done a lot of work off camera, by the way. I had to replay like three or four days in The Sims. I've tried to make them as similar as possible, but obviously I didn't manage to meet The Sims that I met before when I was playing as Liv and we went to the park, which was a little bit frustrating, but... It is what it is. I also did the hall the same way and did the kids' bedrooms the same way as what I did it last time. And I've been doing a bit of stuff in class as well, so... I've got to where we were last time, which is where we invited the brother over after we bumped into him in the park. We got on really well with him. We'll chat more about that in a moment, but I've gone ahead and given him a CC makeover. I've also given our bestie Alana a CC makeover as well. She had kind of a boho style, so I've kind of just done that, but with CC and given her skin details and stuff, so hopefully we'll see her as well. And I've also given somebody else a little makeover, but we will wait and see if we bump into them. So the one thing I wanted to chat about is you guys were saying that Liv had got really toxic. You needed me to address the situation and obviously i want you guys to be comfy so i was like i definitely will talk about this but also i need to be comfy when i'm making videos as well so in my old series one thing that made me completely stop enjoying it and one of the many reasons that contributed to me ending it is that there was this pressure that i had to be morally responsible for my sims and that took all the joy of playing Sims out of The Sims for me because The Sims for me, sometimes I want to play wholesome, sometimes I want to be cute, but it's a video game. Sometimes I just want chaos and drama and nonsense. Not So Berry has been amazing for me because I've got to play both sides of that. I can be like, you know, wholesome and lovely with Sims like Ash, but then with Sims like Clem and Liv, I've also been able to just be like a little diva and play that fun side of things as well. And that's part of the reason that I enjoy the game. So I think we're starting to get into the like, the territory again where I'm somehow morally responsible for my sims and I don't think that's a very fair pressure to put on me because just because I make my sim behave a certain way it doesn't mean that I approve of that or that I think people should act like that in real life and also I'm not teaching you guys how to behave either you guys are just enjoying a youtube video enjoying a little bit of entertainment too so I would prefer that we keep things to that level and not kind of be in a situation where I constantly have to apologize to my sims or I have to acknowledge or address everything that my sims do because that I don't think is very fun and at the end of the day this is meant to be entertainment but I did want to at least like you know we'll chat about some of the things that happened in the last episodes while I'm away whilst we're playing this video and just so we're clear I'm not playing Liv and thinking that she's this perfect angel I'm deliberately playing her as a super toxic sim because I so rarely do that and I'm having a lot of fun playing her as a super toxic sim doesn't mean I want to be toxic in real life and I know that Gordon is 100% the victim sim in this situation so if you guys were saying why do you never do anything with his career why do you never try and like help him why do you make his life so difficult I'm doing that on purpose this is all like part of my story he's not interested or motivated to work outside and do his daily tasks for his career because he hates his career because he hates his life because he's very in love with this person but this person is toxic and he feels kind of trapped and I said from the beginning that I wanted Liv to be a sim that I have a redemption arc with and you can't have a redemption arc unless of course you first of all make that sim, you know, need to be redeemed. So that's the reason that I'm doing everything. It doesn't mean that I think you should like baby trap people in real life or anything like that. I just, I had to get out, that out the way because it will get to the point where I feel like I don't want to play this anymore because I can't be held morally responsible for video game characters. And I hope that makes sense. Sorry to start the video off like that, but I just would prefer to get that out in the air. Clear the air. And now we can get into today's video. <laughs> so hopefully everything I've played in between has kind of made like made sense. I know that some of the outfits clearly I've not managed to do all of them yet because it was taking me a really long time with all of the house modifications. We do have little aged up Iris the same way that she was aged up before. We also have Gordon coming in and being like, oh, it's my and I want to say twin brother. I feel like these guys, you are 14 out of 20 and you are. Yeah, OK, so they're twin brother so this is his twin brother and he doesn't see much of his twin brother because eric 
has the evil trait. So, you know, these guys, it says childhood buds. I don't know how they were as children. They're, they're not very close anymore. So he has the career that Gordon did always want to do. Although we'll talk about that in a moment too. So he's a chef, obviously lives as a food critic. Her dad was a chef. So she's clearly going to have a lot of respect and love for that. But he is an evil sim. So him and Gordon aren't close. We've not seen hen or tail of him the entire time Gordon has been an adult. And now his brother has just turned up and he's probably uh, yeah okay he's a little shocked he's definitely a little shocked as to why Liv has brought his brother around the other thing that's interesting is we know that Liv wanted like this bad boy and she thought Gordon was a bad boy he wasn't he was just older than her just like a school year or two above her but she thought he was a bad boy and then with the CC makeover I've made it clear that you know Eric actually is a little bit of a bad boy he can't find a comfy seat to save his life though are you gonna try once more no, he can't get comfy. He's not enjoying the sofa. But yeah, this is definitely good, sweet, lovely boy. And this is evil, sim, cheeky, bad boy. So she's attracted to this. She thought she was getting this package, but it turns out she was getting a completely different package altogether. I was very much flirting with the idea of her affair, which I have to do, being with the brother, but you guys really didn't love the idea. So instead, what I'm gonna... You see, I do listen to you guys and take your comments into account. I'm not gonna do the affair storyline with the brother instead i'm gonna do this has been a bit of an eye where's your hand gone i was gonna say an eye opener but it's a hand remover <laughs> it's a bit of an eye opener as to her realizing that the things that she wanted in life aren't like she doesn't know why she doesn't feel fulfilled like something's wrong my career is great i've got all these kids that i wanted i've got the house that you know my great 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 grandmother built why am i so unfulfilled and she thinks it's because she ended up with the person you know not with the person she wanted to end up with and instead she should have ended up with somebody like eric so he's more of a like a puzzle piece but he's not the central part of the jigsaw you know so i'm just gonna have her go ahead and read little iris to sleep rain is already in bed he's oh no he's not he's napping i was like what a good boy he's actually gone to bed like early but now nah, he's just he's just having a nap okay why don't you go tire yourself out for a bit and then you can uh then you can go to bed and whilst it's just these guys i'm gonna have gordon kind of be like why are you here <laughs> Why are you here? I'm gonna get him. Oh. <gasps> Why can you guys do a secret alien handshake? Didn't we work out that like their dad was an alien or something? This is like my parents are aliens. Isn't like one of these guys an alien? So both of those guys are too? Was it his mom that was an alien or his dad? His family tree is like a web that I don't quite understand. Oh, <gasps> his dad is an alien. So you can do an alien handshake, but neither of you are actually aliens? I'm so confused right now. Have I had children with an alien or not? What's happening here? Mumbo, fastim, me. What, what? Oh, lips reach parent at level 10. That's part of the not so very. Maybe if you have a parent that's an alien, you can do secret alien handshake, but you're not actually aliens. I love how they waited everything, like till everyone was out of the room till they did that. So I'm going to get him to like express doubts about like his relationship. Because at this point, he's going to be. Surely it's God. He's got to be. But also he's going to be like, but I don't know why you're here. I'm going to get him to dismiss his evil ways. Like, why? are you here how did you just manage to suddenly bump into like my wife at the park that makes no sense like there's no coincidences you know that's just too much of a coincidence i don't know why you're here we don't like have this great relationship and okay he's feeling really sad about that i don't think he accepted to refuse his evil ways and he's also turned up super flirty as well so if i was him i would be like what were you guys talking about at the park i don't know he started to get like very there's a lot of insecurity going on because we know that every time he walks into the room and sees Liv, he gets flirty straight away. Like he's desperately in love with Liv, like super in love with her. But yeah, his brother's gone now and I think that kind of shook him a little bit. Whereas for Liv, she's kind of like, hmm, having some Sag feelings, having a few Sag seat feelings, gonna get herself some Franks and Beans, but not feeling that tired. So I might get her to log on and just like, do you remember when she was a teenager, she used to like chit chat with people on the internet? I'm gonna get her just to like log on and just see who's online. Just see who is online. Oh, there is the Simda chat room. Oh gosh, should I have a look on the Simda chat room? Okay, Klaus is on there. Wait, is it Klaus? No, that's my sim. Vlad! Vlad is on there. We've got a few people online. Gordon's gone to bed early. The brothers kind of got us thinking about what ifs and could have beens. So maybe we just log on and 
he's online. It's a brother. Although, you know what? For the affair storyline, if it resulted in a baby, it would actually be perfect if they're twin brothers. They're not identical, but you could kind of get away with it, right? Whereas you could be like, yeah, it's totally your child. However, I don't even know if I could, like, fully believe in a redemption storyline if it was the brother's baby, let's face it. Oh, here is a face from the past. Good old Irvin. So I was hoping he'd be alive. I did give him a little bit of a CC makeover. I made him look a little bit older. I changed his hair out a little bit, but he's still the same Irvin. So maybe we see, you know, what's going on in his life. He might be married now. He might have children. Who knows? But we'll at least chart and, you know, oh, we'll do a fart first. And then we'll just chart and see what the situation is because we're feeling frustrated and unfulfilled right now. So I'm going to wash up for you because I'm a nice sim owner. Oh, okay. I'm getting love hearts. Things have clearly, uh, clearly we're able to hit or hit it off again where we, uh, where we left things off. We know that he's a green fiend and we also know that he's unflirty. So he's not the easiest person to flirt with, but he does seem to come alive a bit online. In real life, awkward. Online, total Romeo. So we're gonna start moving towards that storyline a little bit now. Ooh, and Rain is still up. He's like coming downstairs because he's hungry. He's still not had it. He doesn't sleep well. He's a poor sleeper. Well, uh, relatable. He's off to go and grab a serving of these franks and beans. So he's going to be farting all along as well. And school's out for summer. Rain will not need to return to school until fall unless his parents send him back early. Oh my gosh, what? I didn't know that happened. Wait, how long is left in summer? Oh my gosh, he has so much time off school. He's going to age up and like not go to school. That's crazy. Okay. I know he's only a child, but he's probably going to notice that this is not normal emails for work, you know? Because I was like, why would Rain be like super rebellious? Like right now his mom overcoddles him. So maybe that and he doesn't have a good relationship with his father. But I think seeing this as well, he wouldn't tell his dad because he doesn't have a good relationship with him. But it might be enough for him to be like, uh, definitely start rebelling in a big way. Maybe become a little heartbreaker because he thinks that that's acceptable because he's seen his mom do it. So he's heading off to bed. Liv's like, oh, don't worry. I'll clean up your bowl for you. You just go to bed, baby chicken. Um, I'll clean up. You don't need to worry about that. Coddled. Coddled ears because she was too. I, I actually think she was raised fairly well. I think it's just like, it's her personality. And she wants to flirt with somebody. She really wants to flirt with someone. And oh, look at this. Simda chat, a cozy online chat, a few charming words here and there, a little bit of flirting. Maybe more will come of it, hopefully. The picture shows the real Sim behind those texts. Well, we know it does, because we know, although we've not seen him in a really long time, but we know we know what he looks like, you know? So I'm gonna go clean up. That's definitely given them quite a lot of romance. We still don't know what his final trait is. We're gonna be heading to bed quite a lot later than um, our already quite insecure husband, which I don't think is gonna help things. Oh, and as soon as she gets into bed, he still like cuddles up to her. <laughs> And the first day of summer, he literally gets all summer off. God is going to be like, send him back. Ah! No, he won't. He wants, the, he wants the good relationship. This is the thing. He really wants the good relationship, but he's just really struggling to connect. However, you guys are saying that with Iris, who likes to dye her hair when she gets into her pajamas, he seems to be trying a little harder, you know? It seems like he's really trying to make the whole Iris situation work. So whilst I'm not going to like force a redemption with Rain, there is an option I can try with Iris, which I'm going to give a go today. So because Liv was up late, um, flirting, Flirting online. Oh my gosh, this my sims fart so much. I know it's the food, but still. I'm gonna have Gordon have the morning with her because she's gonna wake up soon. So he's gonna kind of be on Irish duty. He knows his wife went to bed late. He just doesn't really know why. So he's gonna go upstairs, grab her, give her a little, her little breakfast. She's in a foul mood. Toddlers first thing in the morning are not much fun. But we've got her some breakfast, some little peas, because I just love peas. And okay, she's looking real cute and adorable. I'm sure she's going to start, you know, wearing down on his uh, his issue. Like, he's still got it. He's still got this difficult feelings, but I feel like we'll try and solve them today. So we'll do a little bit of party training next. And, you know, despite the fact he's struggling, his overwhelming feeling is happiness. It's just good vibes. Don't know why he's like, finds it easier with Iris. Maybe like having a brother growing up he didn't love, but now he's got a little daughter. I don't know. We're watching. We're watching Liv here seeing it all thinking, oh, he's so good with babies. We should totally have another. <laughs> and then once they're all done with that, I'm going to go ahead and get him to give Iris a bath. And look, despite the fact he struggled to parent this whole time, he's still parenting level seven. I feel like maybe I've not been singing Gordon's praises enough for you guys. Gordon is like 
I like soft, sweet, lovely people like Gordon. Soft, sweet, lovely men, which is probably why I end up making a lot of sims like that. <laughs> so I'm very much a Gordon fan. I don't want you guys to think that I have been like making Gordon seem like a bad guy. Maybe I have accidentally because I've not wanted to be so outright like team Gordon, but I love Gordon. I think he's so sweet and... You know, he struggled to bond with his children, which is, you know, I've criticized him for, but he's still persevered. And look at this. His difficult feelings are going. He is interacting with an unwanted child, which is making him feel quite tense. And that he's also getting soaked by the toddler. But overwhelmingly still, he's happy. His main feeling is happiness. And his happiness is going up from being with Iris. So I do have this option in pregnancy and family to make peace and forget bad sentiments. She's gonna do a hot pause because I don't know if that's me like forcing that or whether there's an actual like interaction I can do that like fixes that as well. I don't know whether just doing nice interactions like overall slowly over time will will help with that feeling. So I don't have any other additional ones. So I'm just going to do some nice interactions and then we're going to make peace and, you know, realize that Iris might not have been something we initially wanted in our lives, but now we can't imagine life without her. So let's make peace, forget bad sentiments. It took a bit of time, but Gordon is now at peace with his child. He will do his best to be a good parent to Iris. You were already doing that despite everything. No, it's just going to be a little bit easier, which I think is nice. It's also a really nice hot day outside. So why don't you go ahead and play in the kiddie pool? And Alicia says, oh, I heard you were talking to Arvin again, like your friend from school. That's nice. I like that. Oh, and Alicia's now calling to chat. Alicia knows. Alicia totally knows, right? And why is Rain's friend on my PC? No. I am gonna have to start locking this PC, I think. For everyone but Liv, because I don't want anyone to find out. And Zane, I think... It's... It's... Oh, Violet died! Oh my gosh, Violet died of old age. No freaking way. Oh my gosh, if I go to the family tree, then I think all of Briar's generation... No, sorry, Zane's obviously still alive. Yeah, Violet died of old age. Oh, So Alana, who's like our absolute bestie, she's an orderly. She is also our cousin. So she's Zane's child and Zane was our mother's brother. In fact, let's invite her around. Maybe we can talk about this whole situation with her. And speaking of Sims we might want to chit chat with, Catalina has invited over just Gordon. Catalina is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. We've not really done much stuff as just, just Gordon, so... Okay, I think she needs a makeover too, right? Yeah, she's still got like her appearance from when she was in school. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit hers. She has a child. Did we know this? Have I just forgotten this? So I'm gonna keep her style, but just update things a little bit. Oh, she has a daughter, Carla. And she also has a jealous trait. And she's a serial romantic. Oh, geez. Okay, so I've updated her appearance a little bit. I wanted to keep like her, um, I don't know, like cute librarian kind of energy. I'm gonna take her braces off because she's been wearing them for about 30 years at this point. Okay, so here is Catalina's baby. I think I can work out who the father is through the family tree because you have children with Liv whose mother has a brother, a twin brother called Forrest. And I think this, yeah. Okay. So here is Carla, Asha, Asha Kalani. No way. <laughs> no way. Okay. This is kind of messy. So on my side here, you've got Coral. And then over here, you've got Okay, so Coral's mom was called Clem. When she was younger, this boy here, Zach, had a huge crush on her. She did go for the bad boy. So instead, Zach ended up with Clem's sister, Camille, who is listing as like ancestor here. They both died of old age. They had a child together called Jermaine, who married Lynn, who had a child called Trey. Trey used to hang around a bunch, one of the generations. Was it last gen? Oh my gosh, no way. Trey had a child with Ayla called Asha. This is Asha, who's had a child with Catalina. That child is Carla. So this child has Zach and Camille's genes, but also has our great 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 grandmother's genes it's a small world after all disturbing this is why family trees are so freaking fun though okay so this this is the problem with getting to ten, 10 gens you're gonna have a little bit of this going on there's gonna be a little bit of um you know 
crossed wires, crossed DNA. So Gordon isn't related to this child, but um, Liv is distantly, very distantly related to this child. Not enough to like cause any issues, but you know, still interesting, an interesting amount. So we're gonna go deal with the baby. It's not ours, so we don't have any like ill feelings towards it, you know? She's in this big house that she's inherited by herself with a baby. Baby dad is nowhere around. She's calling Gordon. She's definitely interested, guys. She is 100% interested in us. And I'm just gonna give Liv a call and be like, oh, turns out there's a whole baby situation going on here. I might not be back till late. I'm just gonna help Catalina out because she knows she's my friend since childhood, she needs us. Which for Liv is gonna be like, you know, in Killville when it's like the warning bells, it's like, Nee! <laughs> she's gonna be so mad like she's not gonna enjoy this whatsoever especially when like she's there seeing him not bond with his own children but Catalina's baby needs help and he's like wanting to be the good friend you know totally glossing over the fact that he spent the whole morning and early afternoon making amends with Iris and being the best daddy can but that's neither here nor there for Liv and look when I enthuse about the wedding to her she doesn't like it. I just got him to be like, I'm so excited to get married. And like, he's talking about his engagement. And she's just not happy at all. She's tense when he tells her about that. I love it when the Sims makes drama for me. And she has been so much full of drama. I love her for that. You gotta love her for that. So while these guys have a little catch up, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over. She's off to go get a shower. Why are you showering? I'm gonna go and switch to Liv. Whose kids are at home bored. Been there, done that. It's Sunday. I might take... We'll take the little friendo as well, I guess. Take the kids out to the park or something. Maybe she's secretly hoping for the opportunity to uh, bump into Eric again. However, I'm kind of hoping somebody else is floating around the park. I do know, though, that he, who has remained unmarried and childless, by the way, he lives in Mount Komarebi. So maybe we should get on a plane and go to the park for the evening. You know, just normal things. So we'll go with Alana, our new little friendo, and the kids and the dog. We're just going on a little park visit to Japan. Just a little casual one. Does Japan have a park? It has nice walks, I guess. Oh no, it does have a park. There we go. <gasps> we went here with Scarlet and Saffron and Seiji, was it? No. Was it Seiji? I think it was Seiji. And like here is the little makeover that I did. Oh, Oh, are you okay? Have you arrived drunk or are you sick? It could be either. But yeah, I wanted to keep her little like cute boho -y style. I think she looks super cute now. Okay, Star Wars people are here, but that's kind of not who we're here to see if you get my drift. At least there's like a climbing frame for the boys. For small naughty children to become friends with. And Alicia, oh my gosh, Alicia with the intel. She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows. I've not seen, I keep clicking to see if he walks by because it'll say focus camera. He hasn't. So, you know, we're here as like a nice little family. What if I just send him a text being like, oh, guess what? I'm in your neck of the woods. After we chatted the other day, how weird is that? I've literally never been here before, but here I am now, it's so weird. Oh, and he says he'll be right over. Literally wasting no time. Okay. He is an unflirty sim, so it's doubtful that anything, oh, he's popped over on his bike. He has popped over on his bike. Is that woman in labor? Yep, that woman's in labor. That is a woman in labor. Here he is after all this time on his bike. I like as well that he's quite different looking to uh, Gordon because if our one time secret affair does result in a child, probably gonna be a little bit of a, um, a slightly different looking child. I don't know how we're gonna play that one off, but there's a little bench on a bridge here. Just enough time for us to have um, a little catch up with Irvin. He's looking very sad. I don't know if seeing her and knowing that she's engaged is like, Great reputation, lol. <laughs> is making him feel sad. He's living over here. He's not working at the moment. They just became good friends. He doesn't have any children. Is he a single Pringle? Like, what's what's his situation? Because mine is kind of engaged. Or do we just not tell him that? I've not announced my engagement to him. Maybe just seeing her brings up a lot of memories because she was the one that got away for him. But I'm not going to talk about the engagement. I'm not even going to mention Gordon. That's like, to me, is like a super red flag when, yeah, he's single too. When someone like doesn't ever bring up their spouse, like whatsoever, over like a long period of time in conversation, that's like a bit of a... Hmm. Because, like, if I was chit-chatting with someone, there'd be no way that Ali wouldn't come up. But she's, like, keeping it a little bit of a secret. She's going to talk about her family. Boast about her family because she's she is very, like, she wanted these babies, you know? And I know he's not flirty, so I don't, like, know whether to push 
a flirtation thing or not like i don't know i could just try like a little oh my gosh i can first kiss i'm definitely not doing that in front of everyone but i could be like um you look good like you're looking really good not seeing you in a little while but like you've aged really well you're looking you're looking real handsome nowadays real handsome just you know see see how he takes that one but we need to be careful because like there's a lot of family members in this vicinity which is a little bit of a risk you know and he's he's gone he's He's got on his bike and kind of, uh, it was a nice catch up, but I didn't push things. He's not a flirter in real life. It's all about, it's all about the DMs for him, the secret messages. And oh, that was so lucky. Alicia was asleep on the bench for that whole thing. That's my sister. So she won't have been able to see anything, which is great. And it's fine because like there was family members with the children. I haven't just been an absolutely terrible mom. <laughs> But it is like 11 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and bring like everyone home. And she's feeling all like happy, deep connection. Like she's definitely feeling things. She still doesn't know his final traitors, but she knows she finds them. She all after all this time, she does still does find him attractive. And oh my gosh, as soon as I get home, she starts feeling flirty. <laughs> and Gordon is home, feeling oh rains in the room, so he's feeling he's finding it difficult. He is finding it difficult. At least she spent all day with Catalina and Carla, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send everyone to bed. <gasps> and she's asked someone to go steady. You're literally engaged. Why are you? Why is that even a thing that you're wanting? I don't know. Our new job, by the way, doesn't start until 1 p.m. So like I have all morning off now, all morning. And Gordon's promotion means he works from nine till seven. I don't know if that's quite as bad as his hours before, but it's still pretty bad. <gasps> and Tofu is now an elderly dog. No, oh, Tofu. <gasps> You've got so much gray fur now. Oh, you little cutie pie. Bless you. You've got to be the most walked dog, though, since Scarlet's dog. Like, literally, Scarlet used to always go for a run with her dog. And Liv is the exact same. So Gordon's heading off into work. Rain's still on summer holidays. And we don't have anything to do, apart from fart, until 1 p.m. Should we maybe jump on Simda again? Just check who's online, you know? <gasps> He's always online. Oh, and we're also having a bit of a gloomy day. Maybe because we've got bills that we can't pay. Oh my gosh. That is £2,000 worth of bills and I have £1,700 in my bank account. We're definitely struggling. We're definitely, definitely struggling right now. I need another promotion. That's what I need. I might work from home today so I can like stay with the kids. I need to load three different dishes. So I guess that means I need to cook a bunch of food. Maybe have someone to cook with me and rate the food. I'm just gonna send him a text being like, oh, feeling, feeling kind of blue today. Like, what are you up to? <laughs> Livia, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. Well, I can't just like, no, I've got kids at home. Why don't you come over here instead? Oh, look at that crocodile tears. Oh, and wow, you must have been somewhere close nearby because immediately you're here. I have to load some dishes. So I'm thinking I do the dishes since he's from Mount Komarebi or he lives there at the moment. He might be able to help me with some of the food that came with that pack, such as fish yakisoba. Why don't we give that one a go? Oh, after first of all, you get attacked by tofu. Tofu knows. Tofu with the intel. And we used to do this with our dad. This is very different. Very, very different. Uh, I don't think he's the greatest cook, but it's fine because I am. Yeah, he's... This is dangerous. In more ways than one, there's knives involved in terms of stabbing your arm accidentally, but also in terms of, you know, stabbing poor little Gordon's heart. So while poor Gordon is like slaving away in a career he hates to support his family, which he never agreed to. Um, Oh, gosh. We are here cooking fish yakisoba with our childhood crush. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Liv. And Alicia. Alicia with the shade. I hear you and Eric are good friends too. You're getting popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. Alicia, stop. And the first dish is done. Lord, one out of three. Tofu is not happy. Tofu and Alicia are definitely not happy. And we are now officially lovebirds who cook together. As long as he's gone by seven. Gordon never knows. I feel so bad doing this. Ah, 
yeah, he's back home with his little meager salary. Performance still not great because it's not what he wants to do in real life, but he is back home again too and instantly flirty as soon as he sees her. Like literally every single time. Although also just stood out in the rain, not coming into the house. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Do I invite over Irvin next episode and have the one-time secret affair that I do have to have as part of this Not So Berry? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Should it be Irwin or Irvin or Eric? I'm kind of feeling more Irvin. I sort of feel like, you know, Eric was a good mind changer, but I feel like Irvin kind of makes more sense. But let me know what you guys think as well. Hopefully my comments in the beginning make total sense and I hope you guys can appreciate that. And I'm glad that like you guys raised it so we could at least have a chit chat about it. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.